I've been monitoring the seller away for a couple weeks now and they are not in the best spot because the tree and the house is shading them up until one o'clock in the afternoon. After one o'clock, that's when it starts making some wheel power. So I'm gonna move them. I added an extra panel to the array that was laying against the deck, bringing it up to over 2000 Watt. And the rest of the 10 panel, I'm gonna add it to the first inverter instead to see how it's gonna work for now. Then I'm gonna make some temporary mount for them. And this is what the weather looks like today. Now let's go inside to see what the array is bringing in. The 10 solar panel laying on the ground are coming to this inverter. And it's only bringing 400 watt because it's cloudy outside. And the 5 solar panel laying against the deck. This is what it's bringing in. 200 watt. 0.93 amp coming into this battery. 0.85 amp coming to the other one. Big thanks to David Paz for doing a video on those batteries. I was getting ready to buy the same one I had, but after seeing his video, I decided to get those batteries from Battery Hookup and I get this BMS from Alibaba. And all I had to do is connect everything together. This is temporary. I'm gonna build a box where this is gonna look nicer at the end. And I have another set of them. I'm gonna make another battery. Each of those battery are a little over 13 kilowatt. So it's bigger than both of my original battery, just one of them. I did not top balance this battery yet. I'm still waiting for the charger to charge itself individually. Then I put everything back together. I use a separate electrical panel from the both inverter power coming to this 60 amp circuit breaker making 240 volt. And then I use a 40 amp breaker going to the first transfer switch, powering a lot of stuff in the house and the kitchen and two bedroom. I had a total of three transfer switch I plan to use for the whole house. For now, I connect the dryer directly to this electrical box, but I plan to add it to the transfer switch just in case we run out of battery storage or if we don't have any solar for an extended period of time. But for the past couple of weeks, we've been strictly using the solar and battery storage to dry all of clothes. I also added the disconnect switch for this solar array. A lot of wire here look messy, but it's temporary. I'm gonna be adding fuses and both positive going to the inverter just to add extra precaution. Although the inverter already have circuit breaker in them. I order some battery wire. Meanwhile, I'm using this wire. I'm just waiting for them to be delivered to replace them. But I've been checking on them. They're not getting hot. They seem to get the job done. As soon as I get them, I will replace this wire. So far, I am really enjoying this project. It looks kind of messy right now, but I will make improvement on it. For the day, this inverter produces 3.4 kilowatt and the other one produces 3.6 kilowatt and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. If it wasn't cloudy, they would produce way more than that by now. I will leave a link in the description for any of the items that you see in the video. Just click on the link to check them out. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Have a good one.